Hello everyone. I'm going to teach you how to create color drop down list and it can be change the color based on the task. Not started as an example red, completed green, in progress yellow. First of all, we will go to data and then data validation and click on data validation and then here click on list and then type the list that you want as an example in progress then add comma complete add comma and not star complete in progress complete so click ok now now we will find here that in progress complete if you click here and repeat you duplicate the work for entire table you will go to home you click the first one you, you will go to conditional format equal to and then type complete and then change here to custom format and make it green so now so this is okay we want to change to the second one in progress click on in progress repeat conditional and equal to and type in progress and then choose here custom format and select yellow and click ok and then go to not started and again conditional equal to click not started and go again to custom format and then red and click ok so now if you change it to in progress or complete it will become correct so drag this to entire table so now if your work is in progress or if this work is not started you can highlight it automatically to how to create percentage completion percentage in a nice way so if you are in progress or completed or not started this has to be changed accordingly so let's start highlight and go to home and then conditional format and new role and then here in the new role you will go to data bar and then change automatic to number and start with zero and change the other automatic with number and change it to one and then change the color let's say you want it to be as an example green okay so now you can see here if you click 60 it will change 100 0 it's not started 60 uh, let's say 30 it will go you can enhance this view by go to column scale on data bar and then change whatever you want from these ones as an example data bar I will change the yellow one so you can change it or as an example highlight again conditional data bar and change this if you change 0 to 10 it will change accordingly thank you very much